Like many senior citizens, Helen DeJager has her share of concerns about leaving the Canada Pension Plan. At first it was like panic because you never know what the heck's going on with your livelihood as we get older. You know, it's a little bit scary. Scary, not just for herself, she says. DeJager is worried for her kids who still have a few working years ahead of them. A little bit leery for the younger generation, let's put it that way. On the flip side, the provincial government says the people of Alberta pay too much into CPP compared to the benefits they receive, and that an Alberta pension plan would fix all of that. But for now, DeJager says she's not buying Premier Daniel Smith's promise that seniors and working Albertans could actually see more money in their pockets if Alberta pulls out of the federal plan for its own provincial one. I think that is just kind of a kind of enticing to make, make it sound like they're benefiting, but we don't know that yet. So that's still to be found out. Also to be found out is the actual amount Alberta would be entitled to. Uh, we're not getting consistent information from different sources about what we're entitled to. Bradley LaFortune is the executive director of Public Interest Alberta. He's been doing talks around the province about some of the concerns they're seeing with the province's proposal. Number one, it's not a priority for most of the Albertans that we're talking to. People in Alberta are concerned about the economy, affordability, access to things like health care. Number two, within the details of the proposed plan, it's very clear that nobody except for the UCP government thinks that Alberta is entitled to 53% of the asset pool, which is $334 billion. Federal Finance Minister Christia Freeland recently said she would ask the chief actuary to provide an estimate of the asset transfer. But Alberta's choice about the CPP also implicates every single Canadian. And although Premier Smith did not address the issue during the UCP annual general meeting over the weekend, she did respond to questions about it at a media scrum. If there was any movement on that, it would be put to a referendum. All the assets would be put towards the fund as well that you'd either have to see an equal or better benefits or equal or lower premium. I was pleased to see that Christian Freeland committed. And once we have that number, we'll have a better idea of whether or not Albertans want to go to a referendum. CPP has been with us since 66. It's been good for 60 years. Why, why fool around with it? Let's put that way. For Bridge City News, I'm Jeanette Roche.